This is to introduce and give a maintenance overview about our new online RO system. So this is how it looks and the manufacturer of this system is Pentair. Its model is 100 LPH. Let's understand the display function and indications of the panel. The bars here indicate the lifeline of each filter. The numbers here mentioned signifies the total water consumption of RO. We also have the TDS of raw water and RO water mentioned here. Let's witness the replacement of filters. We'll start with pre-filter. The function of the filter is to remove the suspended particles and needs replacement once in a month. As one micron. Turn the main inlet or outlet valve off. The suitable key to remove pre-filter. To open, rotate it in clockwise direction. After removing the filter gently, take the cartridge out. Place the new cartridge into the filter and fix it anti-clockwise. Use the key to tighten it. After fixing, open both the valves. Moving to the next filter. This is 0.2 micron pleated filter which needs to be replaced every 45 days or when the lifeline indicator goes to zero. Turn off inlet or pressure tank outlet valve to initiate the first filter cartridge replacement. By using the suitable key, remove the filter. Remove the old cartridge from the filter and place the new one after fully unboxing it. Now fix it back gently. Rotate anti-clockwise to tighten it. Post replacement of the filter, reset system. Now filter replacement process is completed. Filter 2 is a 5 micron filter which has to be replaced every 90 days or as and when the lifeline goes to zero, whichever is first. The process remains same as filter 1. Filter 4 is active carbon filter and needs replacement every 180 days or as and when the lifeline goes to zero, whichever is early. Replacement of this filter also remains same as filter 1. A quick run through backwash process which has to be done daily basis. To start off with sand filter, put raw water panel into manual mode and turn off the pump. Turn the multi-port valve handle from filter mode to backwash mode. Now turn on the pump and leave it for 5 to 10 minutes. After 5 to 10 minutes, switch off the pump. Change the handle from backwash mode to rinse mode. Again turn the pump on and leave it for 5 to 10 minutes. Turn it off after 5 minutes. Change the handle from rinse mode to filter mode. Now switch to auto mode. Now sand filter backwash is completed. To initiate the carbon filter backwash, turn off the main water inlet valve. The multiport valve handle into backwash mode. After this, switch on the main water inlet valve.
after 5 to 10 minutes turn off the water bottle now change it to rinse mode turn on the main inlet valve after 5 to 10 minutes turn it off now change the handle from rinse to filtration mode now turn the main water valve on and your backwash process is completed